let's talk about calories. More precisely, are all calories burned during exercise burned equally? Or is there more to the story? For example, if you burn 350 calories in a body pump workout, would a steady state cycling workout burn those 350 calories the same way? Because calories are just calories, right? Well, the Les Mills lab put that to the test. And here's what we found. While each of our participants burned the same amount of calories, some really interesting things happened. Human growth hormone generates the long-term response to exercise because it oxidizes fat and builds lean muscle tissue. Human growth hormone was 56% greater after the body pump workout in the steady state cycling session. Interleukin-6 is released by muscles after exercise and helps recovery and oxidizes fat. Interleukin-6 levels were 3% greater after the body pump session. And finally, lactate. It's released by muscles when we work hard and it's what sparks the human growth hormone response. Lactate levels were 81% higher after the body pump workout than the steady state cycling session. So when you're deciding on what exercise to do, remember, not all calories are burned equally and there is more to the story. A body pump class may have a lower calorie burn compared to a cardiovascular session that has more intensity, but the demands on our physiology and the changes in our metabolism and body composition are significant and ongoing. And that's so important because that's what generates the long-term response to exercise. And that is what makes all the effort worthwhile.